Now, we can't start today's show without paying tribute to the man who spent the last two decades sitting on this morning sofa, Philip Schofield. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be looking at every celeb feuding with Philip Schofield. This is a shamble! Shut up! <laughs> For this list, we're looking at all the people unhappy with the former This Morning host. Let us know in the comments of any other celebs we might have missed. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Fern Britton. Do I miss presenting this morning? Um, no. <laughs> I did 10 years, yeah. and 10 years was great. For years, there have been widespread rumours of a rift between Scorff and his former co-presenter, Fern Britton. You know, I think I went at the right moment in the party. Though in public, they've always tried to appear friendly. The simple fact is that Fern was only halfway through her contract with ITV when she quit this morning back in 2009. Allegedly, she didn't feel that ITV appreciated her enough or what she brought to the show, and she was sour about Schofield's high paycheck. Look, it's got my name on, Fern Britton, this morning. Now publicly, Britton has always disputed this version of events, and it's never been clear who the sources are. There isn't a person in this building who I don't absolutely love, and to everybody in the gallery as well. But she didn't often work with her old co-star, and since she wanted to continue having a career in television, openly bad-mouthing ITV and Philip Schofield wouldn't have been a very smart move. Gemma Collins She was one of two celebs to join Piers Morgan in a tweet about how he'd found the newest This Morning presenting team. Does this mean she has bad blood with Philip Schofield? We're not sure. But Schofield and the GC have definitely had their disagreements. Obviously, I've been really devastated by all the hurtful press reports this week. Back in 2019, Collins was competing on Dancing on Ice when she unfortunately fell over. Ice skating is difficult and often dangerous, and Gemma Collins falling flat on her face remains an iconic Dancing on Ice moment. Collins said she briefly blacked out before falling, with Scorff later publicly saying that he doesn't believe her despite being supportive on the night. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. Before that was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and also, you, you were up. pushing it. Yeah. He also made repeated jabs at her during live episodes of Dancing on Ice, calling her a diva more than once. Can I just say one thing? Maybe if you didn't sell stories on me, I wouldn't have been so upset this week. <laughs> so take that! Amanda Holden. The other celebrity in Piers Morgan's tweet was Amanda Holden who's been rumoured to have a long-running falling out with Philip Schofield. You were here just three weeks ago talking about stepping out, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you? no, that was about eight weeks ago. Can you believe that? Like Fern Britton, Holden has also frequently appeared on This Morning and has supposedly found herself sidelined. I've been missing for three months on this show. First of all, you took away the picture from the corridor. Yeah. There is no oh, picture yeah. of Jane yes. on the corridor. Yeah. 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 The minute I yeah. turn my back, I'm off the wall. <gasps> it's not actually clear what might have happened, but it looks like Schofield just doesn't like Amanda Holden for whatever reason and kept trying to block her from appearing on the show. Particularly, he didn't want her to replace Holly Willoughby while she was filming I'm a Celeb in 2018. And I wouldn't normally give that to anybody. No, it's got, even got your name on it, Philip S. S. Following the announcement of Schofield's departure from this morning, Holden made a cryptic post on Instagram of a flexing bicep emoji, which many people think symbolised victory over Philip Schofield. Eamon Holmes Schofield's departure isn't the only one this morning has seen recently. Every day is fakery and, um, you know, sometimes there are... You can only judge people by the, their actions. Back in 2022, Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford got the axe from ITV, with the broadcaster claiming that they were both unpopular with viewers, but particularly Eamon, who was viewed by some as being out of touch because of his comments about 5G. Holmes has since taken a job presenting on GB News, and it was here where, after the news of Schofield's departure broke, Eamon aired his grievances. Mm. Some people find Philip Schofield the nicest person in the whole world. I personally didn't, but um, uh, I do believe speak as you find. I also he first took aim at Schofield, but later turned his sights on Holly Willoughby, 
saying it must have been her call that Schofield leave the show and blaming all manner of recent controversies for the decision. If she has her own professional integrity, why isn't she coming out in public and saying, I have my own professional integrity, he has done something yeah. which will reflect badly on me. Kim Woodburn. You see, Philip, you were not in there. I know what I went through. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I went through that. hell. I mean, like, a lot of exaggeration, though. It seemed that what you were no, saying... No, no, I'm just... sorry. You weren't there to know where you fell. In fairness, at this point, it looks like Kim Woodburn is feuding with everybody. Her most high-profile spat is definitely her long-running problem with Colleen Nolan, after she claimed Nolan was a backstabber during their time on Big Brother. But she doesn't appear to be the biggest fan of Philip Schofield, either. Following Big Brother, she appeared on This Morning to plead her case. I knew it would be filthy dirty. It was stinking. After 10 days, I went in. Well, you're the best qualified to clean it up. It's, uh, why should I? I'm, I'm not cleaning on that show. I'm going as Kim Woodburn. She was outraged at Philip Schofield's suggestion that she do a bit of cleaning in the Big Brother house, arguably a fair assumption since she's mostly famous for appearing on How Clean Is Your House. She was also angry at him, asking how much she got for going into the Big Brother house. So how much do they pay you? Uh, nothing to do with you, Philip, is it? What are they paying you? Well, nothing to do then with you. Then don't be naughty. Thank you. She later called Schofield nasty and Holly Willoughby two-faced. Noel Edmonds. Edmonds hasn't weighed in on Schofield's shock departure, but there's long been reports of bad blood between the Deal or No Deal presenter and Philip Schofield. This all dates back to 2016, when Edmonds was embroiled in an online controversy for apparently saying that negative energy causes diseases like cancer. Disruption of our immune system by negative energy makes you prone to diseases of which cancer is one. Edmonds also said that he believes his own prostate cancer was cured, at least in part, by him having a positive outlook. Scorff went after him, saying that what he was peddling was ridiculous. But the problem is, Noel, the problem is that, it, that this is all surrounding a, a machine that costs £2,315. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It, well, it is, because... No, because no, Phil, it, you're no, wrong. No, no, I'm not wrong. He then later wrote in his autobiography that Edmonds had severely gone down in his estimations. But obviously people are going to get a little bit sceptical with the fact that you keep banging on about this £2,300 box um, and, uh, and um, oh. what, will you know the people who were making it? Edmund said he thought he'd been set up and made a fool of by ITV. Holly Willoughby. Who could have predicted that ITV's golden couple would split up so spectacularly? She again is being as false as he is and nobody is talking about the elephant in the room. They've been together through thick and thin over the years, with Holly being there for Philip's coming out and the two frequently holidaying together. But in 2022, it all started to sour. So if it was that bad, why not just go? First was Qgate. And over the following year, things heated up. Schofield's brother Timothy was sent down for some repulsive crimes, and allegedly, Philip Schofield didn't confide in Holly Willoughby at all, which soured their relationship. They've both taken a lot of breaks from presenting, but with Willoughby also leaving their joint management company to set up her own, it looks like the duo is done for. Schofield spectacularly quit this morning in May 2023, after more than two decades. Quite simply, we all know he's one of the best live television broadcasters this country has ever had. And we and all the team wish him all the best for the future. Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.